afternoon to you all from Griffin Park. Well, who can stop Newcastle United, the fellow whose team are going to have a go this afternoon? Phil Holder, the Brentford manager, how do you stop this team? Uh, by going out there and doing exactly what we're good at doing. And uh, if we do that, then we uh, will be the first one to stop this little mob. Right, I mean, they're obviously full of confidence, aren't they, in Newcastle moment, but do you think your position really is a bit of a false one? Do you think you've been playing better than your position the table suggests? Um, yeah, I'm not, I've not been too displeased the way we've played, but uh, we are where we are because that's all the points we've got. But um, I know for a fact if we go out there and we do what we're capable of doing, we'll beat Newcastle today. Just chatting to the Middlesbrough manager, Lenny Lawrence, who's here today, he described Kevin Keegan and Newcastle as a juggernaut. What do you make of what Keegan has done for Newcastle? Uh, he's done very well, obviously, you know, but um, they're not unbeatable. Um, I hope to be uh, the first ones to claim this. There he is, getting the manager of the month confirmation of that eight wins on the trot. I mean, it's a heck of an achievement, isn't it? Yeah, well, he deserves that. You know, uh, anybody who uh, does that sort of thing is very worthy of uh, winning the manager of the month award. And the super atmosphere here this afternoon? Yeah, fantastic. A little bit of Calypso in the background, uh, and uh, let's hope we can score one or two goals to uh, really put the icing on the cake. We'll hope for a bit of Calypso on the field. Thanks for joining us, Phil. Pleasure. Good afternoon to you, Saints. It's a terrific atmosphere down here, as you well know. My first job, as usual, is to uh, sort out the two teams for you, starting with Brentford. With uh, Jerry Payton on loan from Everton, the Republic of Ireland International, he's in goal. Two, Brian Statham. Three, Chris Hewton, both former Spurs men. Four, Keith Millen, the captain. Five, Jamie Bates. Six, Simon Ratcliffe. Seven, Nicky Bennett, back after injury. Eight, Dixie Krasinski, the Polish midfielder, bought from Wimbledon. Nine, Kevin Godfrey. Ten, the top scorer, Gary Blissett. And 11, the experienced winger, 34-year-old Neil Smiley. Well, it's a sound-looking Brentford side. They speak highly of their centre-backs, Millen and Bates. Blissett is sure to be a threat in attack, with Bennett and Smiley making great use of the wings. In fact, an early return to London for Robert Lee. He signed for Newcastle the week before last from Charlton after turning down both West Ham and Middlesbrough. So he's keen to make a right impression in the, as usual, Newcastle with tremendous support here. Wherever they go, it uh, makes it a real cup tie atmosphere. Well, what about the Newcastle side then? In goal, they've got Tommy Wright, Northern Ireland's uh, goalkeeper. Number two, the former Liverpool man, Barry Venison. Three, John Beresford from Portsmouth. Four, Liam O'Brien. Five, uh, Kevin Scott. Six, Stephen Howey. Seven, Robert Lee. Eight, Kevin Peacock returns after hamstring trouble. He's the captain. Nine, David Kelly, once of West Ham. Ten, Lee Clark, a brilliant 19-year-old. And 11, Kevin Sheedy, so long the brains, of course, in the left side of Everton's midfield. Scott and Howie are the central defenders. Uh, Brian drives from the midfield, where so many of Newcastle's goals seem to come from. Sheedy and Clark as well, of course. But a real boost for the Magpies to have Gavin Peacock back in action. Well, it's Newcastle in a change strip this afternoon of yellow shirts, green shorts, against Brentford in their familiar red and white stripes. And away we go. Brian quickly on the ball for Newcastle and Beresford, just here to the former Spurs fullback. Uh, no for Brentford. White, right. in again. Here's Statham, chipped in by him. Smiley had dragged himself in from the touchline, but uh, Venison got the header in for Newcastle. And now Godfrey, no. But defending that time by uh, Stephen Howey. Interesting character, Stephen Howey, because uh, he's still only 20 years old and was originally a striker, converted to a centre back last season. I had him when I was there as a young lad, as an apprentice, he was a centre forward, and uh, I, the staff actually wanted to let him go, but I had a feel for him as a centre forward. But uh, Ozzy made him into a centre half, and he looks a, a, a very good prospect. I think with a back pass rule now, centre halves need to be happy with the ball, and he will be. Terrific. And they bring here. Oh. The bag has stayed down. Kelly's right in there. Clark is up in there. Sheen is in there. The ball has gone to the back of the net. David Kelly, the scorer. Newcastle strike after 10 minutes. 
the goal scorer Kelly, but he had two other options on, Clark and Sheedy, so quickly had they sprung forward. And Brentford feeling there was a degree of offside, no. but I think you can see no. he was played on. No, I said the offside would give him a problem, and he certainly decided to play offside there, but the left back cleared them on, and he took it brilliantly. So Newcastle, the leaders of the first division, get off to a brilliant start here at Griffin Park. Good work here by Kelly. And a hammering finish beyond Payton, 1-0. Away by Hugh. forcing it over the line and somehow Brentford got it away and here comes Blissett now for the Bees. Out to Smiley, getting support from Krasinski. Three men in red and white shirts up ahead of him too, still with Neil Smiley onto the right foot and just wide of the Newcastle goal. A great strike out by Brentford and they so nearly conceded the second goal a moment before. Just, a, just highlights the game there, Brian. At one end, Peacock should have scored, I thought, after a tremendous run with Lee and at Within seconds, Smart has gone at the other end and had a great strike at goal. And that's the kind of game it is at the moment. This winkles it away from him, but it's as far as Krasinski. Misjudge it there, it, it could have cost him. Again, I think it's the wind that's doing it, because he's swirling as opposed to going one, one route. Smiley's long cross here, Jim. Yeah, he's, look, he's coming out now. He's, he's missed the ball, actually. It was a little bit unlucky, Bliss, actually, on that one. Fantastic turn and shot by Blissett, and again, Tommy made a, a, a marvellous save. G great football. Just before the corner's taken there, that was a lovely touch by Blissett. Yeah, and what a wonderful save by the Newcastle goalkeeper, Tommy Wright. Simon Ratcliffe in the six-yard area, along with Gary Blissett. Keith Bennett at the near post. Bennett with a header. Shot by Jamie Bates, saved by goalkeeper Wright. Once again, they had a, a, a good opportunity, well, not a good opportunity, but certainly an opportunity off a set play, and I think that's going to be their major attack force. But this is Brentford, isn't it? I mean, it's their sort of tenacity that keeps them in a game like this, and you feel that it, it may be one of these occasions the, the move might uh, go for them, and the, uh, the goal will result. But at the moment, it's Lee Clark at the moment for Newcastle. Good cross by him towards Sheedy. Kelly's got in there as well. Sheedy got the touch. And uh, Robert Lee going in, but it's a goal kick. Kelly. Sheedy. Ferris has made a good break down the left flank for him. A little decoy it was in the end because he played it into a Peacock instead. Peacock's cross to Sheedy. And Sheedy finished it off. Got it off that left foot, and that was a good piece of goalkeeping there by Payton. I think supported by Statham.
Russell. Well, just when it looked as though Brentford were coming back and could cause a few problems, Newcastle's quality made itself felt again, and the skipper has given them some breathing space. Beresford playing this ball in low, and then it's hit by Lee against the crossbar, Peacock finishing it off. Clark playing it in for Sheedy deflected in and Gavin Peacock almost getting in there to finish it off I think if he'd been on Sheedy's left foot I think that would have gone in but uh, it would have floated it, it? Yeah. <laughs> Clark finding Peacock in turn finding Beresford who's got Kelly away on the left for him and Sheedy going through the middle now, if he does get it onto the left foot, watch out. The referee is hands behind his back, so I think that was a stumble by Sheedy. I think, I think in the first instance, Brian, it was a foul, but he gave him the advantage, and he, he's, he's getting a little bit old now, Kevin, and his legs wouldn't stand up, because I'm sure if he had a still, that would have been in the back of the net, because he's got a good left foot, there is. Here's Blissett. Can he get in behind them? There's the answer, and Brentford are back in business. Gary Blissett. What a game one should actually try to give us a, a, a really arousing last 10 15 minutes. Well, he's a good, prolific scorer and has been, and that was a real good striker's goal. The half chance came to him, and his finish was absolutely immaculate. Took it well, very well indeed. Now there's a different noise around the place. Splissick gets behind them and hammers it in. Super chance. He's waiting in the middle for him. And the half of injury time has been played. Corner for Newcastle United. I think Gavin did the sensible thing there. He kept it down and waited. He didn't try and force anything. Just keep the ball in that area at this stage. Peacock with the back header. And it's nine straight wins for this amazing Newcastle United side of Kevin Keegan. They won here then at Griffith Park in West London today by two goals to one. And they had those fights right at the end. Gary Blissett put Brentford back into it. And Marcus Gale with a one-on-one -on -one against Tommy Wright looked odds on to make it 2-2. But the chance went flying away. David Kelly's goal and won by Gavin Peacock has given Newcastle a victory by two goals to one.